Well, hello. How are we doing? I uh, I did promise to do uh, a landing, Garden Mowen, uh, in Norway. Uh, that was three months ago. Uh, I haven't been circling all this time. I promise. Uh, I have been a little bit busy, but I have got a bit of time now just to just to walk uh, through this. Now, I've just been told to descend to 37,000 feet. I've got the plane flying very nicely indeed. We're obviously in the 747. Intercontinental, we've got speed set 269, you can see that, that here uh, is matching very nicely there. Um, we've also got, um, we're at 43,000 feet, we're holding that altitude at the moment, an autopilot is set. So I've asked, been asked to descend to 37,000 feet and we are on the descent, uh, ready for landing. So we're, we're doing that, so the plane is starting to move. Now in order to show you this in this flight today, uh, I have skipped to certain parts of the flight, so I've actually skipped to the descent by using uh, this option here. Now when I, when I went onto that, the throttle, auto throttle wasn't working, so I had to flick this switch a couple of times. Uh, well, fl flicked it off and then on, uh, and then it re-engaged. So you, you've just got to reset the aircraft when that happens, but you can see now that uh, the plane is descending nicely. Now what, what I have noticed is rather than just uh, changing the altitude here, if you select flight level change, you will descend quicker, but you'll also descend at a set speed. Um, so I can actually increase our rate of, uh, of knots and we'll start to descend. You can see we're descending now, this is our vertical speed right here. We need to apply a little bit of speed brake just to help the plane maintain the 280 knots and descend at a fast rate. So what you should be doing is ensuring that you're hitting your target of 280. If you're not, start to use a speed brake to bring that, bring that down. The throttle is at its lowest so the plane can't help itself any further. Again, we need a bit more. You can see the engines here, they're very, very low. We are now starting to come down and we're getting into 37,000 feet. I just want to show you this, um, in addition to the landing that we're going to do very shortly. So the throttle is starting to come back as the plane realises we need a little bit more thrust. It's probably competing a bit against the speed brake there, which I will take off very shortly when we get to 37,000. It's very likely that we will get another call to reduce. There we go. Look at that for time. Really time. So we're going to go down now to 25,000 feet. And we should just be able to do this without uh, hitting anything else. Let's acknowledge that. Descend and maintain flight level 250. Well. Papa Tango, Bravo. And scroll lock on the keyboard. to remove a bit of speed brake. Plane will not do what you've asked of it unless it can maintain this this 280 knots. Um, so so you, you must make sure you can maintain these knots and you need to do that through the speed brake, through the auto throttle and then you'll start to get the descent rate that you're after. You can see that we're still struggling to speed in. So what I need to do is reduce that speed brake and take it right off you'll start to see the knots are increasing and with that you'll start to see what you should do very soon. <laughs> Boeing Papa Tango Bravo, please expedite your descent to flight level 250. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. So when we get to 280, we should start to see. There we go. Start to see the descent rate increasing. Oh, we are struggling a little bit. I have found that it's quite difficult to get these these aircraft down. So maybe we'll reduce we'll reduce the speed right now. See if that see if that helps us.
descent rate is still very slow. the button a few times and now it's, it is properly kicking in uh, so you see we're descending at a much faster rate will it maintain that who knows at this point yes it is trying to do that now so so providing we keep the 250 knots which again it's still struggling at a little bit that descent rate is coming down so we will help it even more see that now, big descent rate now, fair bit of speed rate, 61%, throttle's automatically adjusting, we're in good control here, so we're at a, a vertical speed, reducing feet, 4,000 feet a minute, which is a good, good rate. This is a very interesting plane to fly, I mean, it, was, it was launched in 2005, so it's quite recent, but if you look in the skies today, uh, you'll see it's not really used that much as a uh, as a commercial uh, passenger jet. It's used more as a cargo plane these days. I've been looking at freedar.uk, which gives you the ability to see what, what traffic's above you in the air. And I have seen a couple of these planes, but they have been um, they've been uh, delivering cargo, whatever whatever that is, whatever cargo they're delivering. So again, I just wanted to show you this descent. Because it is really, really important. Let's have a look at the map and see where we're at. We're doing quite nicely. I've slowed us down to about two. You don't want to be too quick getting into uh, getting into the airport because you've got quite a few things to do. So you need to sort of slow that down. So look outside. It is a beautiful day. Absolutely beautiful day uh, in the UK today. Very cold. Minus two. Um, Obviously in Norway, it's, it's looking very bright, there's a bit more cloud in the UK, we are heading into that cloud now. Beautiful that. A bit more throttle coming in, you can see the speed rate there very clearly. Slide us down nicely, you don't want to stress the aircraft and snap those up. Absolutely beautiful. Can we see a bit of Norway down there? Not really. Just need to be some great clouds. Let's just have a check. Let's just check on the weather. So we're going to click on the weather radar button. We are coming into a bit of weather. I'm not quite sure why we're not following this magenta line. Pulling Papa Tango Bravo descend and maintain 15,000 feet. There we go. We're going to descend again. So let's try this again. So we're going to head down into 15,000 feet. We're going to maintain 200 and. 50 knots, of course, below 10,000 feet, you are not allowed to go above 250 knots. Do remember that. Going Papa Tango, Bravo, please acknowledge. Yes, I shall acknowledge. Um, Descend and maintain 15,000 feet, going Papa Tango, Bravo. We can go a bit faster than that. I mean, if you look at the flight plan, we're set at 233, I'm going a little bit faster. You can go above 250 because we're still above uh, the range, so that's fine. Now, is this going to kick in without me pressing this button again? No, I needed to press it again. I do not understand that. You can see now it is kicking in. Look at this. It's kicking in. I had to press the button again. Um, again, not, not sure why. I can hear the throttles bearing back to try and keep us at 250. Again, we're still struggling a little bit, aren't we, to get down? So, maybe when the throttles set. Yeah, there we go. We're on our way down now, so let's let's watch this outside. Much better view. Coming into the clouds there. Speed brakes still applied. Let's get rid of that. And when you're in control like this. It feels fantastic. And I must admit, it's taken me a while to get used to this plane. It's been bobbing around in the air. And I don't know whether the updates and patches have made 
that bit of difference to it and fit certain things that weren't quite working. I'm not sure whether it's me getting used to things or whether it's some bugs, some bugs in the system. But either way, I do feel like I'm enjoying it much more. I'm enjoying it nearly as much as Citation, which I just absolutely love flying. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to show you, we're going to lock in on the localizer, lock in on the, the ILS. I'm going to show you the aircraft pretty much landing itself, to be honest with very little intervention from me, so hopefully you can uh, you can learn a few things from that. You can see our vertical speed, our drop rate right now is very, very fast, um, you know, which is good, it's getting us down, which we need to. Time for getting ready for our approach into Jinlo, I think that's called there, Jinlo. I mean, at Oduni we'll make our final turn, that's when I'll look in the localizer. That is when I'll set the approach mode 10 nautical miles away, which will raise the landing gear and also set 25 degrees flaps. And I'll show you where you can check on your desired landing speed before I do that. It's very, very cloudy now, so the radar is not lying. Look at the state of that, that is bright red. The plane is applying a bit more thrust than it needs, I could help it out by taking the speed brake off, of course, but I'm going to leave it on until we get to 15,000. So it's lovely, lovely and in control. And the rate of descent is reducing as we drop into our desired altitude of 15,000. Now, will it ask us to descend again? Right. That is cloudy. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I shall stick on some lights. I'll stick up some window heat and let's make sure our. Uh, I did set this before we took off, but it's been, it's been reset, so just, just check your uh, anti icing is on. Let's stick all the lights on as well. That was nice, that's useful. You can now see what we're doing. It's not raining today, so we're alright. Let's get back into the cockpit view. Turn all the lights on, look how much we can see. Fantastic, there we go. So we're at 15,000, we have no further instructions. Here we go. What I've forgotten to do, of course, is reset the barometric pressure. So to do that, you see it's 30.08, which is wrong. Needs to be 20 point and, 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 and obviously if we, we don't do that Boeing Papa Tango Bravo you are 5 7 miles southwest keep speed below 220 knots no. expect ILS runway 19 or right approach via Baba transition we'll be told to reduce Clear to, to 220 knots so we will do that slightly fiddly as I've said before Used to that. Let's acknowledge the approach. Keep speed below 220 knots. Expect ILS runway 19 right approach via Bavat transition cleared to Bavat Boeing I do, Papa Tango. I do expect very shortly that we will be told to descend further. Can I reduce a bit of the speed brake? I think I can. Let's reduce the speed brake. Throttle comes down. There we go. And that'll save a bit of fuel. Save the environment, always good. But we might need a bit of help, we might need a bit of help just to uh, just reduce that speed to where we should be. Just, just help me a little bit more. Let's get it down into 220. to stay at 15,000 feet, which is fine by me. We might speed the video up actually at this point. I think I've shown you everything that I want to show you at this point. Uh, let, let's go into, before I forget, let's go into the landing speed. So if you want to check this, you simply press the... Uh, Boeing Papa Tango, Bravo, right, let's do this first. 5, feet. Let's do this first. We've got another call, 5,000 feet. So you see, now we've got the plane in control, it's just as easy. Descend and maintain 5,000 feet Boeing Papa Tango Bravo. Okay, we might need some speed brake help, so let's just look at uh, the speed and watch it all the time. We should be at 220, we've been instructed to stay at 220. 
we see our vertical speed again is dropping nicely so we will get down fairly swiftly throttles are sort of teetering uh, teetering about 42 so you know we don't need to apply any more speed brake I don't think and we're coming down at a fairly decent rate there so where was I? Right, so uh, from the, or wherever you are, you can press the init reference, then the approach, and then you will see your landing speed, 161 knots, I'll set that on the computer, and flaps at 25, okay? And obviously you can go to 30 flaps, and that'll be dependent on the airport you're flying into, conditions, wind, all that sort of good stuff, but I'm going to go in 25 degrees, 161 knots. Okay, back onto the legs page. Are we getting down fast enough? Yeah. Yeah, we're alright. We've, we've got a fair bit of time here. Not bad at all. I hope we get through the cloud. I really do. This is a very, very nice um, landing. It's very, very scenic. Uh, and it, it'll be snowy as well. So I'll be able to show you the new snow effects, which are, which are lovely. Really, really good. Really good work. Um, but yeah, I can't promise anything because the cloud is, the cloud is looking horrific. Let's go back into the uh, let's go back into the cockpit and see what's going on. So the throttles are about 40, 41. I think we can probably descend. Can we descend a bit faster? Let's see. Yes, look, we've put a speed brake, and now we're happy to. Send it a slightly quicker rate here. Now, I could, of course, I could intervene with the vertical speed um, to increase the rate and set that manually, but that does that doesn't control your speed, and we've been told to stick to 220. So, I, I do think flight level change, uh, which we're not on at the minute. <laughs> there we go. That's why it's not doing what it should be doing because we're holding it on flight level change. Let's flight level change. There we go. Throttles are now coming down. You can see as it tries to keep to the speed. And now it's going up. Look, now the rate. It's actually, I actually did that on purpose, by the way, just for, just for demonstration purposes. Yeah. So we're now going into, yeah, we're now below 10,000 feet. So it must stay below 250 knots. That's fine. We're at two, uh, 220, we've set to. We're coming in very nicely. All, this is all looking good. All pretty calm. Let's have a look. Well, what a shame there. <laughs> you see the light there just shining out of the top of the plane, which is an interesting effect. I'm not sure how that's happening. The sun is behind there somewhere. Look at look at that there. Look at the uh, the light. Uh, Jesus has blessed us. Let's hope for a good landing. Bit of speed brake still on. Beautiful looking plane. Obviously, no passengers, lots of really important uh, cargo. <laughs> Late Christmas presents as we go into the 5000. Let's just have a look. Let's just have a look. We're lovely at 220. Vertical speed limit 24. That's going up a little bit more, isn't it? That's good. We'll start to apply some flaps soon. When we make the turn, we'll start to keep the flaps in as well. I might speed this up. Let's just see. Let's just get to the altitude and let's speed up the uh, game a little bit. And of course, you can fast forward the video, couldn't you? But you know, you might miss some things. There we go, throttle is now going back on. Shall I help you out a little bit playing here? Shall I help you out a bit? Take a bit of speed brake off. There we go, throttle's bearing back a bit more. Greta will be happy. Oh look at that, there's a there's a pocket of <laughs> there's a pocket of fun there in the radar. Um, we'd be able to see stuff if we were over there, fortunately for us. We can see nothing. Seems to be a trend in my flights. Oh, look at the nice bit of frosting on the nose. Nothing on the wings, of course, because I've already done the set the uh, 
anti-ice well in advance. <laughs> Not on the last minute at all. Looking lovely, and I think also we can see the uh, the localizer frequency. I don't I don't think we're picking up the right one. We're probably picking up E N E G. See that on the map there? I think that's what we're probably picking up. We can check if we are tuned in to the uh, desired frequency. Nav and rad. We're landing at ILS 19R, we see the frequency is set at 111.30, so we know we are good for uh, Gardamon. Now, something I've forgotten to set, of course, snowy conditions. We need to remember to set the auto brake, and if you do skip the flight, you will reset the auto brake, so you have to reset that again. So, one, two, but I'm gonna stick it on a three because it's snowy, and also I'm terrible at landing, so I need all the help that I can get, but I'm hoping that the computer's going to do a lot of the work for me today. That's what I intend to show you. Well, it's only cargo, isn't it? It's not, it's not a big deal. A few uh, broken Xboxes or whatever, it's fine. Let's get rid of that. Let's just enjoy... Let's just enjoy the... Uh, my drone skills. Let's just enjoy the flight and the plane. I am going to do some A320 tutorials shortly. I'm just going to say hello to, to myself. Co pilot, hello there, guys. Alright, yeah, alright, fella. <laughs> Cheer up a bit, mate. They don't look like they get on, but it's better, do they? They really don't look like they get on at all, these two. Well, that's, that's my usual touch with women, I'm afraid. And then we'll go in to see the passengers. And it's all a bit glitchy, isn't it? There is cargo in there, I promise you that. Some bit of a glint off the, uh, the window. Oh, look at, look at that view. Look at the glint there. Nicely done. Right. Here we go, right. So we're at 5,000 feet, very nicely. No further instructions. Shall we speed it up? Yes, we shall. So to speed it up, R and the plus uh, key on the keyboard. One, two, three, four. I always count them in because you need to remember exactly where you were to get back down to the normal rate. Calling Papa Tango Bravo, you were 400 feet above your assigned altitude. Put it back down, one, two, three, four. Feet altimeter, two, nine, or Whenever the uh, Air traffic controller kicks in. Climb and maintain 5,000 feet Boeing Papa Tango Bravo. With the speed, because otherwise you have to uh, ask for your flight plan again. We are getting close. We are getting close to one of two turns coming in. It's quite exciting, isn't it? Best bit, isn't it? Landing fantastic. So, should we do it again? One, two, three, four. It's R and plus. You can see the plane all over the place. Makes you feel sick, shut your eyes. Uh, we're going to want in 2500. We're going to make the turn. We're going to make the turn shortly. So I'm going to reset. One, two, three, four. There we go. And we're going to we're going to make that turn. You can see it coming into Babad now. Boeing Papa Tango Bravo descent and maintain 4,000 feet. Keep speed below 200 zero, zero knots. And he wants us below 200. So we will go to 200. He said below it. So we'll go to 199. To be pedantic, let's acknowledge that. Descend and maintain 4,000 feet, keep speed below 200 knots, Boeing Papa Tango Bravo. Let's fly level change it again. Let's take off these two just so we can see what we're doing. Okay, we're making our turn and descending at the same time. And the throttle is reapplied, which is good. Right, I'm going to take off the screen break at this point. Now we're going to make our final turn shortly. Now, what did we say our frequency was? 111.30, can you see that there? We are locked in, or the localizer is near, so we can set a localizer when we want to, and we're going to do that very soon. The plane is rocking a bit actually. I'm looking all right. The speed brake is off. What did we say we wanted to set? 161 to come into land, didn't we? 
So we're going to make our final turn. The approach for the airport. We will need to request clearance from the tower. We will re uh, lower our undercarriage at around 10 nautical miles from the airport. Oh, Contact Gargamel in tower on 120 decimal 1 when inbound on the approach. Okay, we want to do that quickly. Tower on 120 decimal right 1 Boeing Papa Tango Bravo. I want the approach clearance. Oh, Charlie, Charlie Alpha Papa Tango Bravo. 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 One four miles north of Island Runway 190 approach. Altimeter 29er decimal 53 with 008 and 14. Ignore the fact they were both talking over each other there, right? Let's acknowledge Cleared that. Cleared ILS runway 19er right approach Boeing Papa Tango Bravo. So now we're making our final turn into Xinlo. Boeing Papa Tango Bravo cleared to land runway 19er right. What I'm going to do... When 008 and 14. I'm going to hit the localizer so that we line up. You can see that's locked in. You see the green? It's locked in there. Very nicely. Let's acknowledge the clearance. Clear to land runway These one nine diamonds right are now Boeing lined Papa up, Tango, Bravo. and we're going to hit. Uh, we're going to hit approach as well. Let's see how many miles away we are. Let's have a look. Uh, uh, we are about ten. We're going to be ten miles now. So we're going to hit the approach. We're going to lower uh, the landing gear, and we're going to start to introduce some flaps, and we're going to take our speed down to landing speed of one sixteen. Um, flying flaps and we're already on the glide slope there we go look at that green on the glide slope locked into a localizer we're following the glide slope down flaps are coming down you can see the flaps uh, also indicated here so we've got 10 degrees of flaps this will help us to reduce our speed and the auto throttle will kick in if we go below that we're going to kick in again with 20 flaps our landing gear is down our speed is coming down lovely you can see that here I'm going to kick in again when we get to 20 flaps. We will, we will kick in again at 25 flaps. And that's our final. Uh, that's our final. There we go, look at that. Look at that. That is the sun on its way to setting. Now I have noticed a bit of a glitch here. Uh, the game has very kindly put a, a mountain in front of the runway, which which is fantastic. Hopefully we'll see that, that glitch disappear very shortly. Let's get rid of that. So I'm not, look, I'm not doing anything, I'm not flying the plane. I'm just managing it. I'm a, I'm a project manager right now. Let's go back into the cockpit. Following the glide slope beautifully. We will stay in this view. I have got the control space bar just to have a look. There's that lovely mountain again. <laughs> We've got a clear bit of weather there, look, we're on the green, which is nice. Norway's looking beautiful, very, very snowy. Well, autopilot is set, approach mode is on. Mountain is, is going to disappear at any minute. Now, a flare has appeared here and roll out. There we go, look at that mountain, it's kind of taken that away from me, that's very nice. So flare mode uh, is in white, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what, what happens with this, maybe you can leave me some comments, but you can see that we are at 161, we are following the glide slope. Speed brake is off, flaps are at 25 degrees, it's set, we're coming in for a nice approach. Now, can you see the PAPI? Do you know what the PAPI is? 1, that is the Precision Approach Path Indicator, and that is these lights right here. Two reds, two whites, perfect. Four reds, two low, four whites, two high. Two reds, two whites, that's exactly where you want to be. So watch the puppy as you are coming in to land. Sun looking absolutely beautiful there. I'm just going to reset so I know I'm in the right position. I'm just going to look down. What you need to get ready for here is you need to disengage the autopilot as you land. So get the mouse ready on there. And let's see if the lander is going to stick itself without me doing anything. Getting ready to disengage the autopilot. 100. 100. 
Tango Bravo contact ground on 121.05. Okay, so, some reason. Reverse thrust, why are you, what what why are you doing anything, reverse thrust? That's why. That's why. So Boeing Pot the Tango Bravo, did you hear my last transmission? I did indeed. So one two one decimal nine or zero five Boeing Pop the Tango Bravo. Ground. I'm kinda of stuck somewhere. It's only cargo, it's no problem. Gardner Moen ground, Boeing Charlie Alpha Papa Tango Bravo request taxi to the gate. Right, where are we? We're not, we're not, we're not too Boeing bad. Boeing Charlie Alpha Papa Tango Bravo taxi to gate 20 by taxiway Delta. Okay, right, look at that, perfect. It's, it's exactly where we want it to be, surely. So the, the, um, I could not control the, uh, throttle just by disengaging this. I had to take off the auto throttle, so what I would suggest is Boeing Papa Tango, Bravo acknowledge last transmission. Is that you take off taxi the, uh, to gate two zero by a taxiway Delta Boeing Papa Tango Bravo. Not disengage the autopilot when you come into land. Okay. So you learn something all the time, but we are in one piece. Um, I have to watch the landing back see if there's any. Room. I, I don't. I think the landing was all right. Um, just need to slow down quickly and then I panicked and started putting the parking brake on. Is the parking brake on now? I think it is. There we go. That's why we're not going anywhere. Let's play the turn buckle. Right, we're going to taxi. Just slow down a bit to get a bit of the turn. Snow effects are fantastic. They really are. I found that quite a bit of room means you can do uh, a nice turn or tight turn. The wheels don't seem to make any snow marks, which is interesting, almost like we're hovering. Now, where does this want me to go? Because it, it's directing me through the airport building. And I'm pretty sure <laughs> that's not a healthy thing to do. So, so why... Guard on ground, KLM-1144 requesting pushback. Oh, so it's requesting pushback. So why is it directing me through Guard the building? KLM 1144, no pushback hub is available to answer your request. Um, right, what are we going to do here then? What are we going to do here? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to have to improvise. Let's put the flaps back into the uh, normal position. Look at that, I mean it's been untouched by the snow. 
was that 80? Can you have us that way? Look at this beautiful, what a festive, what a festive scene. Very beautiful, isn't it? Making a lovely little turn. The controller has been vibrating for two minutes. We don't need new batteries. You know, but if we don't do this, it doesn't go down on, on the flight log, does it? We've got to put it on the flight log. There we go, we're back into where we should be. I really don't know what's going on there. Comment below, that would be, uh, if you can shed any light on what the hell is happening there. I can't even request a different gate, I don't think. I have to go with the gate that um, has been suggested. But yes, I appreciate it's very unconventional. Uh, but I hope you've learned a lot of things. So if you are quite serious, you've learned, you've learned a few things here. But, um, Going to practice, certainly uh, taking off auto throttle when landing. That is definitely something I've learned today. Uh, we're just going to park her up, just line her up with these arrows. Bit of brake coming on, a lot of brake needed there. There we go. Let's line her up. Such a big plane as well. Look at that. See the box change colour when you're in position. Let's reduce the thrust now. We know we've got a very strong parking gear. So there we go. When we're on yellow, I think it's yellow. We can apply the parking brake. We've got, we've got, um, what have we got here? We've got ground services. Um, there we go. Look. Jetway connection. Gardermo and ground Boeing Charlie Alpha Papa Let's Tango Bravo. Could you please connect like the jetway to, to the aircraft? Boeing Charlie Alpha Papa oh, Tango Bravo. Yes, the jetway yes. is going to be connected. So we can let all the cargo off and wish it a fantastic holiday. So while it's doing that, we shall go to uh, we shall go to control five and we will turn. Off. KLM one one four four. Hold position. Caution. Other traffic. The engine's warming down. KLM 1144, continue taxi. Cooling down, I should say. Then. Nice and applied. You can now go and do your next flight if you want to. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I am going Roger, to. Roger, KLM 1144. I'm going to switch off the battery. And that's the end. Fantastic. I hope that was fun. I shall see you soon. Perhaps with a video in the A320. See you shortly.